mid journey of announcing alpha of the V5 algorithm. So, no more nightmare hands. Let's find out what that means. So there's been a statement from uh, the people playing Midjourney about the improvements in an alpha build, which apparently you can use by appending dash V5 after an image prompt or by selecting V5 from the settings. Now according to the settings, it supports a much wider stylistic range and more responsive to prompting. More detailed images and twice the image resolution of the previous version. Okay, I'm sure that's really good for a lot of people. The post explains the data test is basically a pro mode of the model. It's much more unopinionated than version 3 or 5. What the bloody hell is that supposed to mean? That's a word salad and a half. Uh, da, da, da. And it's tuned to provide a wide diversity of outputs to be very responsive to your inputs. The trade-off is that maybe it may be harder to use. Shorter prompts may not work as well and you should try to write longer, more explicit text about what you want. So that's basically what they've said. I will try and track down some images to show the difference in hands. While they're not 100% anatomically perfect, in some cases, they're a hell of an improvement from the 45 fingered impossible geometry hands we've seen up till now. So I think we're going to see lots of uh, characters that are pointing and doing stuff, and maybe not with the hands behind the back or being hidden off frame. Here's the thing about the hands though. Hands are all very well, but it's what are you doing with the hands? Are you holding a thing? Like, is it me holding an iPad, right, like this? or playing a guitar, which incidentally the AIs have a lot of problems with instruments. And this is part of the problem. Yeah, it may be able to hold a sci-fi weapon or something like that, but is it going to be able to make a stylistic Pixar type scene of a pianist, concert pianist on stage playing the piano? Is it going to get the keys on the piano right? Is it going to have the hands in the right place? It's not quite there yet, but some of us remember not that long ago when it couldn't even do proper faces and the only way to get a symmetrical face was to take it in photoshop split it down the middle take the best side and flip it you don't have to do that now that wasn't very long ago let's remember this this was only last year and it's taken till towards the end of last year to get halfway decent faces and now it's doing a really good job so i do think that yes we are going to see really photorealistic hands able to do things whether it's somebody cooking or playing an instrument or painting or whatever you are going to see that eventually and i think what they're doing is they're addressing the problems one by one in order of priority what are most people complaining about well currently hands what was it before that faces now faces always have to be refined in this sort of thing because it's a whole uncanny valley thing. A little side note of interest is that I found out the other day, I still got to uh, investigate the veracity of this, that the people behind ChatGPT have just made a massive investment in a robotics firm. If this is true, it's no longer just artists and musicians that they're going for, but all those little jobs and factories. Just thought I'd throw that out there. So it has been quite a short video. There's not much to say on the subject. I'm not going to pad it out. So if you want to, you know, have a look at some of the last videos we've, we've had, one will be popping up there. I'm not sure which one it's going to be. So nothing really tags onto this one currently. And I'll see you all next time. My name is Wayne Robson. This has been Life After 3D. See you next time.